Okay, guys, so I haven't touched this in a few days. This is my ClickUp Planner, the green friendly planning hub with the routines and everything. Here's what it really looks like when I sit down to plan inside of ClickUp. So it's not curated, just my actual brain dump and just a system that lets me start where I left off. So the very first step that I do is go into my weekly to do. So once I am in here, you can see all of the tasks that are from the last couple of days, maybe from last week that I just put into here. So everything goes into my inbox section, which is this status right here, inbox brain dump. And this is where I would just start filling it with everything. So I have to pick up my brother from the airport, my workouts, guitar lessons, art lessons, anything that's going on that I have to do. I'm not thinking about categorizing it or anything like that yet. I'm just putting it all in here. Okay, so the next step is to organize this list. So once it's in the inbox, I decide if it's something that I need to switch to in progress, if it's waiting on or blocked. So like art lessons and stuff, I'm just waiting until the time comes. So is this. So whatever it is, just either if it's in progress, if it's something that still needs to be done, if it's scheduled or anything like that. So I don't try to make it too complicated. I just drag what feels realistic for this week. And I also have a automation going on where if I schedule something from another list, like a project, a content idea, or even a home task, it'll automatically pop up right here in my weekly to-dos. I don't have to copy or anything. It just shows up when I need it to. Okay, so here you can see the automation is set right here so that when the date is before or after, and then I'll add it to my weekly to-dos. So here I have it seven days before the due date. So this makes it so that I have a week to do those tasks or whatever before the due date, and it'll pop up on my weekly to-dos. So that's the automation I have set up specifically just for my marketing tasks, just so, so that it'll pop up in my weekly to-dos. So you can see here, it'll say from another list. This is also from another list. Yeah. After I have everything in its inbox or in progress or scheduled, I'll start tagging with how much brain power it needs and how long it'll take. So when I'm low energy, I'll just go into one of these tabs, the energy and context planner. And right now I have it filtered for anything less than maybe two brain power or the effort level. So this is just an easy way to just have a quick win and still get things done even when I'm low on energy. You can also filter it to be more than. So you can say, I have a lot of energy right now. I can tackle some of these harder tasks. So here are all the tasks that require more focus level. And then after that, I just like to categorize what category it falls under. So I'm just gonna take out that filter so I can see everything at a glance. And then sometimes I like seeing things in a Kanban board view for the week. So I have this grouped by due date. Then we also have life buckets. So if I wanna just focus on household tasks or family tasks or health and fitness or errands, I can see everything by its category. And then we just have the monthly calendar view and the weekly calendar view. So this is just different views for you to see everything that's going on in your week. Okay, and then after that, I like to go into my weekly routines. So I have built these routines for everything from household cleaning, my self-care, content planning, and my themed days like CEO days and workflow Wednesdays. So if I don't know where to start, I don't have to start over from scratch. I have things that tell me what to do on what day. So I don't know if you feel like this, but whenever Monday comes around and you're like looking at a blank planner, you have no clue what to do. This is where you would come in to help you plan. So you could just be like, oh, what's on my morning routine? So you can see what's on your morning routine and what you can start doing. Or maybe you want to grocery prep. So this has all of the action items to help you break it down so you're not overwhelmed, 
because sometimes when you just put meal plan, it's so big that you just don't want to do it. So this just helps you break it down and do things a lot easier, especially like for a quick home reset. You know that you have to do this every week, but sometimes when you just put something vague like quick home reset, it doesn't really mean anything and you just procrastinate on it and you don't do it. So this is the checklist that will help you get started. The first thing on this checklist is start a load of laundry or vacuum just one room or wipe down the kitchen. So it's very easy to come in here and look at it and you can schedule it on the day that you want to do it. So this routines list is just there for you to help you brainstorm what you need to do. Okay, then I also have my mood menus. So some days you are full of energy and you might have a lot of energy to crush the day. So this is the boss mode menu. So this is things that you can work on when you are full of energy. So that's like batching your reels or shorts, filming your behind the scenes or your day in the life story. You can update your content calendar. These are all things that you can do in your business. And then I also have a soft life menu. So this is for when you just want some self-care tasks. So these are just a list of items that you can do. And again, you can take this and say like on a Friday night, you want to have a soft life reset. So you can schedule this into your weekly plan. And step five is just my weekly life reset. So this is just where my system really shines. I don't have to start from scratch every single week. I just tweak, drag, reuse, schedule things, and just leave the rest. And if something didn't get done, it gets rescheduled instead of forgotten. So I don't have the planner shame or the planner guilt, just a system that adapts with my life. So yeah, that's how I actually plan my week using my brain-friendly planning hub in ClickUp. So it's not about doing it perfectly. It's not about starting from zero every single time. And I think this is just what keeps me consistent. So of course, there's more to it, like the monthly planner and the daily habits, but I just wanted to focus on the weekly planning for this. That is the brain-friendly planning hub. You can see the dashboard here and everything. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you want this template, I'll link it down below for you.